question should have a question mark i have read many christian bibles king james version new international version jehovah's witness due version many but you went beyond the mark and quoted things uh, brother brother this is a question answer time pose your question no salute question two or three sentences you have come here to give a speech i think you're a teacher if you want to preach you can hire this hall tomorrow and give an advertisement people will come to listen to you those who want to come muslims do not allow any christian to touch the quran so how then should i know the truth from the quran um first of all i looked and i know that the topic you brought forth was muhammad in view of the bible like muhammad as written in the bible and you have listened to you most often and you have asked for a very simple straightforward scripture that confesses the godship of jesus christ and you've even um said that if you are convinced you are going to be a christian i'm also here with all genuineness of heart that if your answer also comes and satisfies the questions i also becomes a muslim first of all um your apologetics is very powerful and this is the case i want to raise for you to ask a question that um scriptures should be given talking about the deity of jesus christ as god I believe that you have taken the case from scriptural point of view to philosophical argument. Um, you've quoted a lot of scriptures and a lot of scriptures you have brought forth. And one of the scriptures you quoted somewhere in the book of Acts chapter 3 um, about when Peter was addressing the people and it spoke of the man Jesus approved of God. I know you've quoted that scripture as well. But you see, you were asking of scriptures in where jesus himself made a statement that he is god but you went beyond the mark and quoted things other people have said about him that has actually opened the argument now you have taken it from the first person who is testifying about himself to what other people are saying about himself then it will mean that i'm not only allowed to talk about what he alone has said about himself but also, I'm also allowed to make references in respect to what other people have made about him. But let me now write it down here. You see, this is, uh, I stand to reason, the first question I wanted to ask you is, which um, sect of Christians do you actually listen to? Because if you come to Christianity, like I attend the House of Faith uh, ministry. I, I'm also in the KFI. So per every kind of Christian sect, you realize that it is the knowledge that actually defines why they are there as such particular Christian sect. And there is a saying that the abuse of a philosophy, as you know, does not nullify the philosophy. So, um, I will want to first of all know... Brother, 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 this is a question-answer time, not a lecture time. If you heard the rules and regulations very clearly, the question should be posed in two or three sentences. If it's more than that, it's a short speech. The speech is over. You came late. The lecture is over. Now don't give a lecture. I know the background. You have already spoken for two, three minutes. You already spoke 10, 20 sentences. And yet you have not posed the question. Question should have a question mark. I have read many Christian Bibles. King James Version, New International Version, Jehovah's Witness, Due Version. Many. You ask the question. Simple question, two or three sentences should have a question mark. That's it. Pose your question. No salute. Question. Thank you. Um, Most welcome. Um, for the question mark, I know I can't write it, but I know I'll pose it. Um, but the case is this. When Jesus talks about the Spirit, he said that he's going to send as comforter someone just like him, according to what he said in the book of John. Now, if you read the book of John chapter 20, verses number 22, the Bible said he came and he breathed upon them and said, Receive ye the Spirit. 
I've heard that you said that um, the Holy Spirit was there before. But this is how we understand it in our dogma. The case is like you being a mathematics teacher. I know you are capable. You being a mathematics teacher, you have a lot of topics you can teach. You can teach binomial, polynomial. But all of them is under mathematics. Brother, do you understand English? Yeah. Two or three sentences. You have come here to give a speech. I think you're a teacher. Don't give a lecture here. Two or three sentences with a question mark. You don't have to write your question. What is your name? It's a question mark. It's a question. I cannot write. I cannot see. Simple. If you don't ask a question, I'll give another person a chance. You are wasting your time and wasting everyone's time. Pose a question. All your wasting time. I am being very kind. Don't test my patience. I love you, brother. I love you. I love you. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall free you. You want to go around the bushes, 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 words, 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 without question. If you want to preach, you can hire this hall tomorrow and give an advertisement. People will come to listen to you, those who want to come. Don't waste, there are no about 10,000 people here. Don't waste that time, please. Don't cause harm to all these people. They have come to listen to me, not to you. You pose a question, I'll give the reply. Only two or three sentences. If you pose more than two or three sentences, I will go to the next question. Don't say anything extra, please. Start. So, so in John 20, 22, he said, receive ye the spirit. So those who were there at that time received. So I want to know why you think um, it goes beyond that point to the prophet Muhammad. Thank you. Brother asked a question in John 20, 22. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that receive ye the spirit. But this is not talking about the comfort is different, spirit is different. Receive ye the spirit, that means the spirit was there. This is another verse of the Bible. I didn't quote John chapter 20, verse 22. I quoted Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. I will pray to the Father to send you a comfort who will abide with you forever. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 26. But when the comforter will come, who I will send from my Father, he will show you things to come. He shall testify me. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come. For if I depart, shall I send him? You have gone to Gospel of John chapter 20. I am quoting Gospel of John chapter 14, chapter 15, and chapter 16. You are going to chapter 20. Well, yeah, what are you talking? Gospel of John chapter 20 is talking about the Spirit. I am not talking about the Holy Spirit. I am talking about Comforter. Holy Spirit is not Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Comforter is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Did you hear my lecture? I said I was late because I didn't know. But you said you heard on the television. Didn't you say that? Yeah, I said that. I have spoken many times on okay, TV. Then I can pose the question better now. So that means Spirit is different. Prophet Muhammad is different. And Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, said, in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Who is this person? The Holy Spirit. Brother, can you understand English? Yes. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7 said, that... It is expedient for you that I go away. If I go away, the comfort shall come. Holy Spirit was already there before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came into the world. So this person cannot be the Holy Spirit. You say, if you convince me, I'll become a Muslim. What language do you understand? English? Y yes, English. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit was there in the womb of Elizabeth before John the Baptist was born. And John the Baptist came before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, correct? Yes, please. Holy Spirit was there when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was being baptized. Yes? Yes, So this please. comforter cannot mean Holy Spirit. Yet you say Holy Spirit. You are going in circles. That's why I was bringing the issue of mathematics. That not mathematics. I am talking about Bible. I don't want to learn mathematics no. here. Um, and not from you especially. We use analogy to actually create a statement. 
I believe that for you to make in mathematics we use analogy to create uh, a statement. Which um, mathematics are you talking about? I, I said which, in, in which, life. Which mathematics are you talking about? Where does it say you use the analogy to make a statement? Which um, mathematic book says that? I'm asking you a question. Which mathematic book says that? Anyway, that, use analogy that was a different statement. That was not con concerned to mathematics. I'm asking you which book says that you use an analogy to make a statement in mathematics. No, Have I you studied mathematics? I've studied mathematics a little. Which book says that you use an analogy to make a statement? Okay, that statement was not part of the mathematics. That it was is a different wrong. statement. You made a mistake, correct? No, it was not a mistake. I was making different statements. You said in mathematics you use an analogy to make a statement. They were not joint statement. statements. You do not do it in mathematics. You made a mistake, yes or no? Please, they were not joint statements. I, it was like you making... You said in mathematics to use an analogy to make a statement. Sir, is it, it right or is it wrong? Sir, in language, we are not able to apply comma and full stop, so you may not have known, but I was not making the same statement. I was like answering the second question you asked when I talked about mathematics. What are you doing? Uh, sorry. There's no comma. When you speak, it is understood whether comma is there or not. You don't have to mention it. Only when you write, you have to mention it. When you say, understood whether it's a comma or a question mark. You have posed the question, I've given the answer. You have posed the question on Cosper of John, chapter 20, verse number 22, and I answered you. The answer is over. You didn't understand it, it's your problem. You asked the question on Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 22, I gave you the answer, that is the Holy Spirit, it is not Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the comfort in which I gave the talk. If you want to know more, you go and hear my lecture on the YouTube, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Bible, and then when you finish, then you can write to me on the email. Okay, brother? Thank you. The most welcome. Not less than 25 times in the Quran, but I'm a little bit doubtful. I want to know the truth by seeing it clearly from the Quran. But this is the case that Muslims do not allow any Christian to touch the Quran. So how then should I know the truth from the Quran? MashaAllah, brother asked a very good question. He said, I told in my lecture and the question and session that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, 25 times by name in the Quran. But the Muslims don't allow him to touch the Quran. These Muslims are ignorant. You have to forgive these Muslims who don't allow you to touch the Quran. Because the Quran is not only revealed for the Muslims or the Arabs, the Quran is revealed for the whole of humankind. The Quran says in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, we have revealed to thee, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to lead humankind from darkness to light. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52, here is a message for mankind. Let them take warning therefrom. Let them know there is one God. Let the men of understanding take heed. The Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 185, Ramadan was the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guidance for humankind, as a criteria to judge right from wrong. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Zumur chapter 39 verse number 41, that we have revealed to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the Quran to instruct the humankind. So brother, the Quran is for the whole of humankind. And I would give you a copy of the Quran. And you can read the Quran. And Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he dictated letters to the non-Muslim kings asking them to accept Islam. And he dictated verses of the Quran. Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 64. Come to common terms as between us and you. Many of the non-Muslim kings accepted Islam. Some of them tore the letter. Some of them even trampled it beneath their feet. So when Prophet Muhammad could give verses of the Quran, why can't I give to the non-Muslim? Brother, I would like to ask you, do you believe there is one God? Yes, please. Do you believe Jesus is God? Peace be upon him. Do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he is messenger of God? Actually, a messenger of God. Very good. Mashallah. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? I gave a talk of 1 or 20 minutes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Please, that one, I have to make my own research. Too. Sorry? I'm not, I'm not yet convinced about it. Which part of my lecture are you not convinced? See, research you have to do. Fine. Tell me which part do you want to do research? I'll help you. Oh, please. Now I take, it will take a, lo a, little, a little bit more time. Little more time? I can give you time. I love you, brother. Brother, I love you. I know that. Sorry? Yes, please. I love you. 
And I want you to come to the truth. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall free you. I gave a lecture of one hour, 20 minutes, proving from the Bible that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been prophesied in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, also told about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Please, that one, unless I read from the Quran to confess before I well, I would like to give you a copy of the Quran. You can come on the stage. I'll give you a copy of the Quran and inshallah I want you to read and get convinced. Come on the stage please brother.